This is 730T with Re. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm literally stranded in a flooding canal. He's like, oh, I hope you don't mind. Um, I invited my friends. When he pulls up to pick me up, he's in a weird looking van. Re is spilling all the tea. Hello, everybody, and welcome to 730 Tea with Re. How are you guys all doing? I'm back. I am back. Finally, this is not a replay episode. I am actually catching you guys up on my life, which I need to catch you guys up on literally a whole bunch. And this is the perfect episode to do it because it's a spike tea with Re, which if you are new here and you have no idea what that is, it's basically an episode where I get drunk and I spill all the tea on myself by just telling you guys a bunch of embarrassing stories and I... Yeah, I I got my wine ready, so I'm drinking that, and I'm going to tell you guys some embarrassing stories today, but before I do that, I'm just going to catch you guys up. So, the reason why I've been doing a lot of replay episodes and stuff like that, and I missed a week, is because I've been so extremely busy. I had uh, quit my job at the library, um, because now I'm going to be working with my dad. So I've been transitioning. I started working with my dad while I was also like finishing up my last two weeks at the library. So the combination of both was like really, really hectic. I was literally doing so much work and I'm still doing so much work. Um, the library was like a part-time thing and then I was doing another part-time thing. And so I'm really like, I've been used to part-time work for nine months so getting back into a full-time job is a lot like it's a big transition because I'm trying to get back to I guess where I was you know so it's been a lot trying to like I guess reassemble my old schedule and my old routines and like how I would organize and plan things It's also just like very different working for my dad instead. Like I've never worked for my dad. Like I've done like some stuff for him if he's asked because I'm very handy with like technology and stuff like that. So sometimes he'll ask me for help in that kind of way. But like I've never like full blown just worked for him, like worked hours and stuff like that, like weekly work. So I'm doing that and it's cool because... Um, I get to work from home sometimes or I have to go in there but the thing is my dad has like a couple of businesses some he manages and some he like owns so there's one that he's like opening up it's a brand new business or whatever so it requires like a lot of work so I have been like at his office fucking like every single day these past two weeks like when I say every day like I can't even exaggerate like the only times that I missed was because I also went on vacation which I just got back from vacation like uh was it last (laughs) not last it was literally the beginning of this past week what am I saying because I'm recording this on Sunday night which right now is literally midnight so I guess it's technically Monday but um what's it I got back last Monday and I was immediately working the next day like my dad was literally talking to me that like the day that I got back my dad was like oh like here are the plans for tomorrow and so I was working the whole week like right into like as soon as I got back I started working basically and the thing is I actually do love to work like I love to work hard and it makes me feel good and it makes me feel really accomplished But I haven't done full time like this in a while. So I'm really like readjusting. But um, because like he hasn't fully opened up this new business yet because it's like still launching and it's in the process and then the works like he's going to have his grand opening soon. Like once that's done and once I have everything set up for him, then we'll really be okay. But I had to do so much online work like he had me do a lot of back office stuff doing inventory doing things like that 
and um, making sure the quantity is right, making sure the cost of goods and the retail price are all in there and everything. So I had to do a lot of work. I had to scan a bunch of items and make sure the barcodes are right and make sure everything was good. So I had to do things like that. And then I also do all of the graphic design work and I do all of the social media work. I do a lot of things there and it's definitely not easy but like, okay, it's like, for me, it can feel easy at times, but in actuality, like, when it's all combined together, like, it's a lot of work. Sometimes, like, it's like my dad's okay with me going in a little bit later. Like, I can go in there around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., and that's fine. And it's like 30 minutes to get to his office, right? But even though I could go in a little bit later, it's like, I'll really like, sometimes I'll be leaving at like seven, <laughs> like, like I'll be leaving at like six or seven. And I'm just like really tired. Honestly, I get exhausted. And, and sometimes I've even left at like eight before, <laughs> you know, like I could, I could leave late sometimes. Um, and when I'm there, sometimes it, I feel like I would want it to be a little bit more organized in some ways, but that's just me in general. Like, I always like to organize my workload and uh, I always like to communicate a lot. So I'm just kind of working through that as well, you know, with the transition, making sure that everything's organized and done pretty efficiently. But other than that, so far I do like working for him. I just, <laughs> I'm literally tired. I'm like absolutely exhausted and I need a break. He needs to give me a little bit of a break some days because I've been literally working every single day except for when I was on my vacation. And as soon as I got back, I was immediately working. So it's like, I need a break. Um, like, even when I got back, like this whole weekend, I was still working. Like, even on what you would call like your days off, like on the weekends, your usual days off or whatever, like on the weekends, I was still working. Like, <laughs> like I would be going to hang out with my friends later in the day, but in the morning I was still working. Like I would be working from home or I would stop by at the office and I would do some work and I would come home and then go hang out with my friends. So uh, I've just been doing a lot. And then also trying to like make sure that I keep up with my own personal social media stuff. Like I haven't been posting as much on TikTok, which is making me sad because I want to get back into it. I think just once he has his grand opening and everything with this business, like then I can do more work from home stuff and it'll be a little more tame. But for right now, I'm like grinding hard, but he's paying like so good. Like he's paying me so good and I'm getting weekly pay from him and it's my dad. So of course it's going to be like good pay. And then also I'm obviously on my parents' insurance. So like this is great for me right now and I'm glad and I'm glad that I can do some work from home and then some there, you know, it's a good mix for me because it's kind of what I needed for a little bit. Um, and I really also needed a full-time job. Also, a lot of the people where he works have been really liking my graphic design work and my social media work. So, um, some people are actually interested in, uh, the work that I'm doing and are looking to have me do some work for them. So that's also cool. But yeah, basically, overall, that is why the episodes have been like replays or I haven't been catching you guys up as much. It's because I've been so extremely busy with this whole job transition and I've been like stressed like crazy. And also sometimes, you know, if I'm going to be so open and honest with you guys, it's like I get so happy to record these episodes and stuff like that, but then there's some times where I feel like unmotivated, like straight up just unmotivated. And sometimes I just get in my head where I'm like, oh, like nobody cares that much. Like, oh, like maybe these episodes aren't that good. Like maybe I need to make it better and all this stuff. Like I get so in my head and I could easily be my own worst enemy where I get unmotivated. So it's been things like that. And then me like really busting my ass. So there's been just a mix of things. But lately I've been feeling more inspired. Like 
now that I'm at a job where I'm doing more social media stuff, it's been making me feel a lot better about myself and that side of me. So it's been making me feel 10 times more inspired to really give more of my all into like this podcast, like with you guys, you know, so it's been making me feel more empowered and I'm excited about that. So I want to explore more of that side of me and really give everything my all more than I have So yeah, guys, that's my update on my life lately. Um, And I've just got to say thank you guys so much for like putting up with that and like just being patient and all that kind of stuff. So it, it means the most to me. But anyways, you know, in case you are new here and you just started listening to this podcast and you need a little rundown of what this podcast is about. So this podcast is all about spilling tea and sharing your deepest, darkest secrets. So if you have any tea to spill, DM me on Instagram at 730 T with Re, and you spell that 730-T-E-A-W-I-T-H-R-I-E. Or you can DM me on my main Instagram account at Rihanna Flores and you spell that R-I-E-A-N-N-A-F-L-O-R-E-S. And if you wish to be anonymous, just please let me know. Your story should be up to 500 words or less. And if you want to send an audio voice message in instead of typing out your story, just please keep it up to five minutes max. Thank you. So now we're going to get into our first story of the day. This is my first little embarrassing tea story. Okay. So this one's called, I fell flat on my face in front of my man in the early stages of dating. So let me take a nice little sip of my wine. (sighs) Sorry if that sounded gross. I will always think it sounds gross every time I do these, like, this kind of segment. Like, every time I do the spike tea with Rewinds, I'm always like, oh my god, you guys are just hearing me, like, gulp. And you guys are probably like, ugh. Unless you guys like ASMR. I always thought that type of ASMR was kind of cool. That's just me, though. Anyways. Okay. So, yeah. I fell flat on my face (laughs) in front of my man. Like, I remember, like... I think it was, like, maybe a month or two into dating. Like, you know when it's, like, honeymoon stages and you're still trying to, like, look cute and, like, f- like seem cute and all this shit. Like, you got your hair done. Like, your hair is always A1 the first few months. And you're looking, like, a baddie. Like, you got a little bit of makeup on. Like, the no, no makeup look. <laughs> You know, where it's like you got a little makeup, but you got to make it look like you're not wearing no makeup. And then you wear, like, cute little, like, fitted clothes. You get what I'm saying? Like, you look cute. That's the point. You look cute in your first few stages of dating. You're acting cute. You're making sure you're on your shit. Right. So, (laughs) I remember I was having John over, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have him try, like, a bunch of Trinidadian snacks because my family's Trinidadian and I grew up like having all of the foods and all that like my mom and dad made sure that my sister and I tried all of the foods and all of the snacks so we're used to it so I wanted to have him try it and we do it as like a cute TikTok video and so I was anxious the whole day not because of that but I was just I don't know I was anxious as fuck that day I remember that because I was just like super stressed and I don't remember why but I was I just remember being stressed that day and so I was just like panicking well not panicking but like I don't know how to explain it I was just like running around the whole day and you know when you're just frazzled and you're just like a little bit clumsy because of it so you know, I prepared this cute little plate and samples of like all these like Trinidadian snacks and I'm excited for him to come over. And so I have it on this cute platter and I set everything up in my room and my dog like is like barking and I'm trying to make sure my dog doesn't bark when he comes over and all this shit. And so like when he comes over, like, you know, he says he's here. I go downstairs. I open the door and I let him in and like my dog's barking like crazy I'm trying to make sure I'm like being a good host I'm like oh take your shoes off and I go and I'm like oh do you want a water you know like I'm trying to make sure I'm like being like 
cute and also a good host and like also attempting to not be so frazzled and so, so i'm like oh like, well, we can go upstairs to my room i got like a cute sample of like trinidadian snacks like i want you to try it like and we can do a, a cute like tiktok video and he was down with it and i was like okay cool and so just as i'm getting ready like we're sitting on my bed and we're getting cozy and mind you like my bed has this nice cozy knitted blanket right like it's this knitted chunky fucking blanket so it kind of has like holes in it like spaces because of how the way that it's knitted i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but like you know the ones that are they almost look crocheted but they have enough space of like like between the holes right so it's easy for your foot to get caught in some of them and my mom like is calling me like she's calling me hard like she's yelling my name from the stairs and it was for something stupid. She was just literally trying to let me know that there was food downstairs, which it was like, you don't have to yell so hard. So because she had yelled so hard and I was already so frazzled and it, it had startled me and she was like trying to rush me down the stairs. She was literally like, come, come now. The food's here. Come now. Come now. I'm like, bro. So I'm like rushing to get down there because I don't want to hear her voice anymore. And so I'm like rushing so hard and I'm holding the tray of the food and I fucking like I, I try to run off of the bed and my foot gets caught in a big hole of the, the chunkiness of my blanket, like one of the like knitted holes. And my foot gets caught and I, it literally captures me. It captures me and I fall flat on my fucking face, like completely flat, drop all of the food. And I was so mad. I was so mad. I was so upset. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I just literally put this whole cute plate together together. And then he's looking at me too, like I'm crazy. But this man loves me, obviously, because he's still with me. But like, <laughs> I fell like completely fucking flat. And he just like, oh my god, are you okay? He's such a trooper because I would have laughed. He didn't laugh. He didn't laugh at all. He was genuinely concerned. Like, what is this imbecile doing? You know. I fell completely flat. He's like helping me up. He's like, are you okay? Oh my gosh. And I'm laughing because when I'm embarrassed, like I'll just start laughing because the thing is, in an embarrassed kind of thing, like I want to be the first to laugh at myself. I don't want anybody laughing at me first. Like I'm going to laugh first. So I just immediately started laughing, but I was dying on the inside. I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I looked so cute before, and now I'm looking so crazy. My hair is all messy. I got food that I just spilled everywhere. Well, snacks, to be fair, not food food, but still. And I was mad because I was like, oh, fuck. Like, some of these I, like, I don't know if I even have more of. You know, and I still wanted to do my cute TikTok video. He was so sweet. He was like, you know what? Like, it's not even, like, dusty or anything. Like, we could still do the video. I know how badly you wanted to. And, like, it seemed like it was fun. And, like, I would like to try them. Like, I'll do it. Like, he was so sweet about it. Oh, my God. And so... Like, we literally put this stuff back in the plate. And I have a carpeted floor, so, it's, I mean, <laughs> whatever, right? So, we put the little food samples back on, the little snacks, and, like, we did the video, and he was so sweet about it, but it just was so embarrassing that I just fell flat on my face in front of him. Like, I was so embarrassed, but, ugh, what a sweetheart. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's a story. Now to get into my next story of the day. So this is about the time I fainted in front of my whole class. Okay, this I remember clear as day because this was probably like, I think the only time I've ever like fainted, fainted, like full blown. Like I felt lightheaded before. I've, you know, had to sit down. I've, I have bad heat exhaustion, but this was the first time I've ever like, actually fainted and I was like 
concerned and confused. I was like, oh my god, I really went down, girl. So, I remember it was senior year of high school. And I was going to Europe. I was going to um, the UK and France and Spain. I was going to those three places on this one trip. I went to a Catholic school, so that's why this is like a big ass trip that we went on or whatever. So yeah, I was going on a school trip there. And I remember the kid that I thought was cute was going on this fucking trip too. So he was gonna be there he was gonna be seeing me and all of me and so (laughs) I wanted to make sure I looked cute on this trip and all of my friends were going I had my girl besties going at the time and like we wanted to look on like on our shit have our fashion like is like a1 and everything right and literally the day of the trip like to get to the airport and everything I was feeling sick like I was feeling sick right before that trip but I was like I'm not fucking missing this flight like I'm going to Europe you know like there's no if ands or buts my ass is going to Europe today you know and I was so crazy for it but like I don't give a fuck like we just spent all this money to go like on this trip like I'm not wasting this money and I friggin had a whole fever too like Literally, the day of that trip, I was taking Motrin, like, on the way to the airport, and I was feeling sickish, and, like, I did get over it, like, in the next few days on the trip, like, I was fine, I was, you know, it was turning into just, like, a a little cold, which I could handle a cold, I think anyone could, but point is, I was sick the day of, I had a fever, and I was also cold, I had the chills, so I had a beanie on, and a sweatshirt and I was in layers like my mom put me in layers or whatever because she figured like I should stay warm like while I have this fever I don't know why she (laughs) I don't know I should have worn just like regular fucking clothes but she like layered me up right and I'm taking this Motrin and as we're like in the airport you know all of the parents are saying bye to their kids and we're like you know all making sure we get our boarding pass and we're all standing there the whole class and with my friends my crush is nearby and my friend like my crush was friends with me or whatever and so we're all there in our little friend group and I start feeling lightheaded and I'm like trying to tell my mom and she's like what what and just as she's saying what I'm like I'm I'm and then I I literally remember just slowly taking off some layers while like sitting down and falling down like I fully just like it's like I fell I don't even know how to explain it it's like I was slowly like going to sit down but then I just blacked out I think I just completely fell and didn't really realize it and then I woke up and when I woke up like everyone was around me like looking at me like the whole class like everyone was just like oh my god like what's wrong like what what happened to her like literally the whole entire fucking senior class was like damn girl is down like she's just on the ground laying there in her beanie and her and her weird little outfit like, like it was just so embarrassing and then my crush was there too looking at me like oh my god Rian are you okay which was so nice he asked if I was okay but like (laughs) it was so embarrassing so embarrassing and what's even worse is that they actually decided to (laughs) because they were nervous that I was gonna like faint again or some shit so they decided to like bring a wheelchair over (laughs) They literally brought me a wheelchair and they didn't want me like walking throughout the airport. They wanted me to like make sure that I was well rested if I was still going to get on this flight. Like they asked me if I still wanted to get on the flight. I was like, yes, I'm going on this fucking flight. Like I'm not missing my chance to go to the UK, France and Spain. Sorry, boo. I'm not I'm not missing that shit. So they they got a wheelchair for me and they wheeled me around the entire airport I didn't have to walk anywhere they wheeled me all the way to the gate but by the time we were getting to the gate I just felt so embarrassed because I didn't want to be wheeled to the gate and have the whole class watch me like arrive there while they're all sitting comfortably so I was like um uh 
I'm good from here. And I, I definitely wasn't like the best, but like, I just did not want to deal with it. That was so embarrassing. I did not want everyone looking at me like, wow, look at the wheelchair girl. Like, I was not with that. I'm sorry. I did not want to deal with that. So yeah, I, I was good after that. I, I got on that flight and I was feeling better like midway through the fight, the flight. And by the time I got there, I had more of a cold that like, like, that fever went down, which was great because that would have been so tough dealing with that the whole fucking trip, a fever, you know, is in Europe. But yeah, no, I started feeling better and it was all Gucci. I was good. But yeah, that's the story of the time I fainted in front of my whole entire class at the airport. <laughs> so awful. All right. Now to get into the third and final story of the day. So this one is so silly goose so silly goose of me so i did something very stupid recently <laughs> like very stupid so you guys know how i talked in the beginning of the episode about how like as i was as i've been like transitioning into this like new job i uh went on a vacation right so i went on a vacation recently with my boyfriend it was a little vacation so me and John decided to go to Hollywood, Florida, which I've never been. And it was actually like so much fun. And I was nervous because I've never, like I said, I've never been, but my piano teacher kind of reassured me because, um, she goes every year apparently. So she was telling me like how fun it is, how cool it is, how pretty. And so I was like, okay, like cool. I'm hyped this place was so nice and the resort was so nice too like we had the best time and everything was within walking distance but the day before the trip this is the stupid shit that I did so like I <laughs> see a few weeks and stuff before like I was trying to like lose some weight before this trip like that's what most of us women do come on like we want to like look good on our trips and so I was trying to lose some weight. I was trying to get more fit and shit like that. And my sister suggested like, oh, like, why don't you take like the Wagovi injection thing or whatever? Like, why don't you do like the, one of those weight loss injections? And I was like, oh, you know, like that's not a bad idea. And so, you know, I decided, yeah, I'll, I'll do one of those. Right. And I was going to do it a few weeks before I was going to do it, you know, like, like it's like maybe a few weeks or two weeks or like you know the week before even whatever it was or a few days before no I decided to take it literally the day before and my sister was telling me like oh yeah you know like the um effects vary like for me I have gotten headaches and blah blah blah, blah you know like um she mentioned nausea but like I didn't think it was gonna be like crazy right and like different bodies will have different effects right but she was saying how for her it was really mostly headaches so I was thinking I was just gonna get headaches which I was like well I don't give a fuck about that like there's Advil that exists you know like whatever like I could handle a headache it'll just go away um so I was like yeah that's probably all I'll get but she was like oh you know if you take it the day before like the night before like you could just sleep it off and you probably won't have like any effects on the trip I was like oh okay cool like I'll do that so literally the night before I, I take this fucking injection this Wagovi and you know with this weight loss thing it's supposed to suppress your appetite right <laughs> and let me tell you when I woke up the next morning I was so nauseous like extremely fucking nauseous like I felt like throwing up like it was the worst type of combination along with my period like I was on my period while dealing with this fucking drug like this fucking injection like it was literally the absolute fucking worst and so you know my my man he slept over he was so patient with me and I told him that I took this fucking injection he was like oh why would you do that like first of all, you don't need that, and, and also, second of all, like, why would you do it before the trip, like, why would you do it the day before, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a dummy, I don't know what to tell you, you know, and so, the whole morning of the trip, I was, like, 
so miserable like i literally had to take a shit like sorry to be graphic but i did i had to take a shit because i was so nauseous like i i either had to take a shit or throw up like there was no in between right and so you know i did my little number twos more than once on the day of the flight and i did it again even like when we got to the airport and everything and i also had bought pepto-bismol before and so i was having some of that like on the way to the airport and stuff and you know right before we actually boarded our flight i i took another shit like i i was feeling better and on the flight like i had some ginger ale whatever yada 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 but i was so full Like, I literally only had a bag of chips, and I was extremely full, and when we landed in Florida, like, we were like, okay, like, it's it's time to eat, you know? Like, we uh, checked in, we changed, and I was also so nauseous still, and so tired, and I also have bad heat exhaustion, so he was like, you know what, like, we could rest, like, for however long right now. I don't want you to, like, rush. I want you to rest. I want to make sure you're okay. Like, he was being so sweet and so attentive, which, oh my god, I felt like I saw a whole different side to him where I was like, wow, like, you can really take care of me. Like, like you're, it's giving husband because this is the first time I've really full-blown seen that side. Like, I've seen so many husband qualities in him, but that, this trip that we went on really made me see all sides of him and I loved every single part of it I was just like wow like I feel so loved and appreciated and taken care of like it was uh, honestly it's almost like me being on the Wagovi and also having my period it's almost like I am kind of glad for that scenario because then I wouldn't have seen how good he is with taking care of me like that was just amazing to see that um it, it really was. It was so cute. Like, I could blush right now. I, <laughs> But anyways, yeah, no, I was, I was so fucking miserable on that Wagovi. And it curbed my appetite so bad. I literally, when we um, got settled in and relaxed, like, we were like, okay, let's go to the beach now, right? And so we're going to the beach, but we want to get food before. So we go, and by that point, I'm feeling a little bit better because I also, I took another shit when I landed. <laughs> so we go we get like tacos or whatever and I literally had one singular taco and I was extremely full and I had like a drink because I was like fuck this like fuck this illness like I'm just gonna have a drink like maybe that'll shake the the feeling of this you know and so I had like a frozen daiquiri and I was literally feeling better actually for like a good 30 minutes to an hour and then we walk to the beach because the beach was literally right there like it was a two minute walk from our whole resort and a two minute walk from that place that we had the tacos so like we walked straight into the beach and we were chilling like for a while like we were you know having a good old time in the water or whatever and then like an hour or two goes by and like all of a sudden the waves, the way they were carrying me, it was really shaking my body and it made me nauseous again. And I was getting like, like, ooh, like I was, I was ready to go. Like the heat exhaustion was crazy. And so we're heading back. We decided to head back or whatever. And this man is so sweet and so patient. He was like, you know, like how about I walk you back to the room and everything and I make sure you're good and you can take a nice shower and relax even if you want to get ready for um dinner later and while you go and you get ready and you relax like I'll go run to the market that's down the road and I'll get some Pepto-Bismol for you and and some extra waters anything that you need I'll go get it right now that was so sweet like I literally uh, like I could cry like it was I've never had someone just like be so kind and gentle like that and just want to take care of me like that it was so sweet and he did he walked me all the way back (laughs) to the room and then he walked back down to like get the Pepto-Bismol for me and like the extra waters and all that and it was just the sweetest thing and he was so patient and even when we went to dinner later that day like I was like I said like that thing curbs your appetite right 
So I was extremely full already, like still from that one taco at 1 p.m. And at this point it was like 7 p.m. and I was still like super full. And so we're going to dinner and I'm dressed all cute or whatever. I'm feeling good. But being in that heat too, like combined with the Wagovi and my period, like I was really exhausted and I was just really tired. And so by the time we got to the dinner place, like, yo, I was so tired and I was trying so hard to not be so tired. I really wanted to be a trooper because I was like, I want to enjoy this trip and I want him to enjoy the trip. Not once did he make me feel as if I was ruining the trip or as if I was being too miserable. Like he really just took care of me and was so gentle and I was literally like I felt awful but he was like oh my god like I just want to make sure that you eat like even if you have like a few bites he was literally like oh you could order whatever you want like literally whatever you want however much you want whatever you want to do you could always take it to go like I just want to make sure you eat and he was like why don't you order the steak and I was like well I, I might not finish it and like you know, it's an expensive state. He was like, it's okay. Like, I don't mind paying for it. Like, you get whatever you want. I don't care if you take just a few bites or anything. Like, it's fine. So I ordered like a $62 steak. <laughs> yeah, because that's what he suggested. He was like, yeah, like, get a steak. Like, you know, and so I did. And I literally had three bites and I was so full and he was so okay with it. Like, he was just like, more so concerned of like I just hope you eat at least a little bit you know and I was like this is so sweet are you kidding me like this man was so patient with me and like there was even one of the days because I trust me I could talk about every single one of the days but like I don't want to bore you guys with the details like I don't want to bore you guys too hard but th there's this one thing that stuck out to me the most that was like so sweet so one of the mornings, like, we decided to go kayaking or whatever, and like I said, I have bad heat exhaustion, and I was still on my period, and I still had this, like, shot in me, right? And so, I was really feeling kind of nauseous that morning, but I still, like, I wanted to go. I wanted to be a trooper, and I wanted to have fun, and, you know, I didn't want to be, like, like, boring on this trip, and, like, I know, like, you know, it was okay for me to relax. And I did relax a lot, actually. You know, like, I didn't just push myself the whole time. But I just also wanted to make sure that I had a good time and that he had a good time, you know? And so, this one morning, we decided to go kayaking. And, like, as we get there to the park, because we took, like, a little Uber ride there. It was, like, you know, a six-minute drive, $6 Uber ride, whatever. Um, there's like a sign in the park that says that you should have water while you're going kayaking and we did not have water. And so we were like, oh, like maybe we could buy it somewhere in the park. There's no part in the park to buy fucking water. You have to walk a mile to get to this like market across some street to get water. Right. And so he looks at me and like, <laughs> one thing I love about him is like, he could look at me and just know how I am feeling. Like, even if I could hide it, like, he, he will know, right? So he just looks at me, he's like, you know, like, how about you sit here and I will go and I'll walk and I'll get the water and you just could sit here and watch some of our stuff and I'll be back. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, like, of course, like, you're tired do you want to take your Pepto-Bismol? And I'm like, yeah. And so, like, I take my Pepto-Bismol, and I'm sitting there on the bench, and literally he goes, he walks a mile to get, like, these waters. And I'm thinking he's coming back with, like, one or two waters, whatever, right? This man, <laughs> he comes back with a whole cooler. Like, he bought one of those foam coolers. He filled it with a bunch of ice, and, like, not only did he just fill it with, like, water, like, and like, he got, like, three big bottles of water, but specifically, he got electrolyte water. Now, this was so sweet because I was literally talking to him about, like, it the day before, like, of how um, I heard that it's good to have, like, electrolyte water if you're on Wagovi because Wagovi has, like, semaglutide in it. 
So electrolytes are good for you and protein, right? So he got me specifically electrolyte water. And then he also packed that uh, cooler with Gatorade because that has electrolytes in it too. So he like specifically made sure that there were things in there that were going to help me. And it's just that he thought of that all on his own. (laughs) Like, he just did that all on his own and, like, thought to bring a cooler and thought to do all of these things. And even when we got in the kayaks, like, he rested the cooler right behind me so that I could, like, like, have my back lay against it. Because when you're sitting in a kayak, all they have is that tiny little pad for your back. So it's like I got to lay against the cooler. And also, he knew I was so tired. Like, he literally told me, he's like oh, you know, you don't even have to paddle. Like, I'll do all the work. Like, it's okay. Like, you know, I want you to just relax and enjoy the views. Like, you could take your little video, like, like, practically. Like, he was so okay with me (laughs) just chilling, like, actually. It was, like, insanity. I was just like, oh my god, this is great. But, yeah, basically, my ass was so miserable on that friggin' Wagovi. And it curbed my appetite so bad, it made me so tired, so exhausted. And I was low-key embarrassed because I was feeling like, oh my god, what if I'm ruining this trip? But, like, he had literally reassured me. He's like, you're not ruining anything. I'm having a really good time. Like, I'm having so much fun. And I love being with you. And, like, it just made me feel so much better. Like, it was just so supportive. Like, he's so sweet. But yeah, that's the story of how my dumb ass took Wagovi the day before my trip. I will never do that ever again. But only only thing is, at least I lost a bunch of weight. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit worth it. Only <laughs> Okay, not worth it enough to take it before trip, but I did lose weight. Like I, <laughs> I lost like six pounds. Like, in a few days, which is kind of crazy. But, I I mean, it's also period weight loss, too. But the combination, I mean, still, like, if we take away the period portion, I probably lost about, like, two to three pounds, which is still a lot to lose in a few days. So, was it kind of worth it? A little bit. But I would not want that nausea ever again. That was awful. That part sucked. But, yeah. Anyways, that's the tea, y'all. That's all of the stories today. I'm sorry if some dragged on or if some were too detailed. I hope they were juicy enough. I definitely want to get more embarrassing stuff for you guys. Um, And it's also been a bit since I've recorded an episode. So I'm sorry if I'm like rusty. I'm like in my head today. I'm like, what if I was rusty? But as I explained to you guys, like it's been a long few weeks, like I've been busy. So I'm sorry, guys, that I've been slacking a little. I really don't like to slack, but I'm going to be trying to get back on my shit. So we, we gonna chill. We gonna chill with it for now. Anyways, we're going to be closing out today's episode with a sound healing. So sit back, lie down, relax, shut your eyes Take a deep breath in from your nose and out from your mouth, and I'm going to play. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining today's episode. It always means the absolute most to me when you guys join. And if you were new here and you made it this far, thank you so much for listening. It means the absolute most to me. I hope you come back. (laughs) Um, Anyways, um, go follow all of my socials if you haven't yet. 
um and i hope you guys have the bestest week ever i love you all so much goodbye